Hello, my name is Dylan Fallen, and I am one of the instructors of Intermediate Algebra at Dodge City Community College. I would like to take a moment to talk to you about the Intermediate Algebra course. This course is designed to prepare students for Math 106 College Algebra. Any student meeting the following prerequisites may take Math 102 Intermediate Algebra. A student with an Accuplacer NG score between 250 and 262, a student with an ACT math score of 20 or 21, a student who completed at least through Module 8 in College Prep Math, but not all 12 modules. You might also consider taking this course as a math refresher if you placed into College Algebra, but don't feel quite ready for it. In Intermediate Algebra, a student will learn the following topics to help prepare them for success in college algebra. Solving linear equations of one variable, such as 3x plus 7 equals 10. Applications of equations to a given situation, otherwise known as word problems. Absolute value equations, such as the absolute value of x minus 5 equals 8. Linear, compound, and absolute value inequalities, such as 3x minus 5 is greater than 7. Real number line and interval notation. Graphing linear equations of two variables using either the slope or the x and y intercepts for problems such as y equals 2x minus 3 or 2x minus 3y equals 6. Graphing nonlinear equations by plotting points such as y equals x squared plus 5. The concept of a function. Finding equations of lines using the formula y equals mx plus b. Solving systems of equations, such as x plus y equals 5 and x minus y equals 9. Solving a system of linear inequalities. Factoring. Factoring. More factoring. Solving quadratic equations by factoring. Rational expressions, such as 3 over t x minus 2, excuse me, plus 5 over x minus 1. Rational equations, such as 3 over x minus 2, plus 5 over x minus 1 equals 10. Complex fractions. Dividing polynomials, such as x squared plus 2x plus 3, over x minus 2. Direct and inverse variation. Radical expressions. Radical equations, such as the square root of x minus 2 equals 5. Solving quadratic equations by completing the square or quadratic formula. And graphing quadratic functions using the vertex. This course is a credit-bearing and transferable course. For the Associate of Arts and Associate of Science, this, cor this course counts toward the overall credit hour requirement as an elective, but does not satisfy any of the math requirements for those degrees. For the Associate of General Studies and Associate of Applied Sciences, this course does satisfy the math requirement for those degrees. After passing this course with a C or better, a student can take Math 106, College Algebra. A College Algebra or higher level math class is required for all Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degrees. Before taking this class, it would be a good idea to review the following math topics. Arithmetic with negative numbers, decimals, and fractions, such as negative 4 times negative 3, or negative 4 fifths plus 3 eighths, or 2.35 minus 3.15. Simplifying algebraic expressions by combining like terms, distributing, or FOIL, such as 5x minus 7x, 3x times parentheses x minus 5, or parentheses 2x minus 3 times parentheses x plus 5. Understand the difference between a term and a factor. Simplify radicals, such as square root of 25. 
1. Come to class every day that it is scheduled, or if it is an online class, engage with the course on a regular basis. 2. Take notes and participate in class. 3. Work on the homework frequently to practice your understanding of the material. 4. Ask questions frequently. Either ask the teacher, ask another student in class, ask a tutor, or all of the above. 5. Study for the exams, which means more practice, but focused on the problems most likely to be on the exam. It really comes down to effort and communication. Spend lots of time learning the material and practicing, and let your teacher know what's going on if you are struggling for any reason.